So I'm going to just speak the truth and I'm going to tell you why, you know, in, in, in Alpha Investments videos, millions of dollars in Magic the Gathering losses. And, you know, it's another warehouse video where he's showing you all the cool stuff. Um, I think in his most recent video, he actually told you that, that do not invest in this, you know, invest in the S&P 500. I 1000% agree with that. Magic the Gathering is not what it used to be. Um, and I think it has a lot to do with Magic 30th. So now that there's some time has passed and the initial emotions of Magic 30th have been, you know, it, it's been very negative. But I think what it has done to sealed boxes is it has just tanked the price. And the reason that it has tanked the price of not just vintage boxes, but the modern boxes and the Amazon boxes, no sealed box should be considered an investment today. And I'm gonna explain why this is the case. Magic 30th, what was it? It was a reprint of Alpha Beta. What's an Alpha Beta? And why did people think that Alpha and Beta can never be reprinted? Well, Power 9, Reserve List, duels you know i mean you have a lot of cards in alpha beta that are on the reserve list it's not like you have one or two right it's not like a urza's uh saga scenario where hey it's possible we take the cards you know we take the cradle out we take so i could see them reprinting a set like urza at that time before magic 30th i thought they would reprint urza saga and then just take out the reserve list cards so you would never have the set. And this is something they did. And the reason I believe this was they, when they found their palette of um, legends, right? For Dominaria United collector's editions, only collector's edition, you can pull one. Lucky you, right? The opportunity to spend $200, $300 for a very small chance of pulling a legend common. Um, they took out the cards, right? They took out the cards they deemed as racist or bigoted and so on, right? They removed them. So if you wanted to hit something, you would not actually hit those cards on that list. And in addition, because of the weird print scenario, there were some cards like, I think land tax was just not there. So there were some cards that were, weren't even available. So we're not talking about oh, every Legends card was available for you to pull. We're just talking about some Legend cards were available for you to pull. Some were manually removed and then some were just removed due to the print run, which is more akin to what I thought they would be doing. So, okay, this is what I thought would happen before Magic 30th. They would definitely, let's say they reprinted Alpha Beta. They would take out the Power 9, they take out all the reserve lists and it would just kind of be a fun little set. Or if they did it, they would just make them like a commemorative, kind of like what they always, and Yu-Gi-Oh, they always do a blue eyes, white dragon. They put it in a plaque. You can take it out of the plaque if you want, but I mean, I think it has more value in the plaque and you pay like a certain amount of money for that one card. There's not a booster box, right? Or a, a scenario. So if they're gonna print, right? Alpha, beta, complete, complete. Right now, again, did they take cards out that are racist and bigoted and so on? Okay, fine, 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 fine. I got it. I got it. They're, they're selectively removing cards, but the selectively removing cards are not the cards on a reserve list for the most part. Crusade, right? Selectively removed. Um, I believe, was it removed? I don't remember. Um, but they have that list of cards. I know Crusade's on it. I know Crusade's in, obviously in Alpha Beta too. So anyway, back to my point. Let's say Rudy Chan has a bunch of Arabian Nights. You really think they're not gonna reprint that? In its entirety, including the uh, Bazaar Baghdad, which is a, obviously a chase. You don't think they're gonna print um, Misha's Workshop, which I have. It's unfortunate that I have so many of these cards. I'm naming cards that I have, that you guys know I have. So I'm going to get I'm going to get decimated, right? You don't think they're going to reprint dual lands, which they already did. You don't think that they're going to make these specialty boxes, right? And then in that specialty box will be legends. I mean, you can do it two ways, right? You can either say we found a lost palette, haha, very interesting, or you can say that hey, like you know, we're reprinting them. This is a reprint. We have to correct back. The reason that magic boxes are no longer investable and it's dead product, in my personal opinion, 
two factors. Amazon, they keep discounting the money effing boxes to $72. They're, they're just stuck in that 72 value somehow. It never goes lower and never really goes above. And two, everything is reprinted. Secret layers, commanders, like, I mean, I, I opened enough product to realize what's going on. So that's where I am. You know, I, I am not here to say, hey, you know, I would recommend, you know, again, in that video, what Rudy said is true. In that video, which he might take down soon, in the very end of the video, only at the end of the video, did he say, you shouldn't look at this seal product as investment. You should look at this as, um, if you want an investment, put your money in the S&P 500, 1 million percent agree. Invest in your business, invest in your employees, anything invest in your dog investing in my dogs and their long-term health of like insurance is a way better return on value than investing in magic sealed because there will be a day where they reprint everything in a box a booster box form remember i'm talking about time spiral remastered i as soon as that set came out i was like wait they took free sets they took all the good cards and they put it in one set and then they had like retro foils and stuff that were worth a ton of money at the time no no longer because the retro borders are like it's just common place now it's like it's just like commons on the street right they just throw these retro borders everywhere the board there's no respect for any border right when the inventions and the invocations and all these borders that i mean hey whatever we just as a pdf file is an ai pdf file will just smack it on these cards now you know, there's no value. Why pay? <laughs> How much is an alpha or beta booster box nowadays? 100,000, 50,000, I don't know. I'm not really in that marketplace. But I'll take a set that I have. Fallen Empires, I paid $650 for buy list on it. I have a bunch of Fallen Empires. It's not even a good set. Why pay that? when we can have a Fallen Empires remastered, where we take Fallen Empires, the dark, and some other random set and we combine it into one set and it only has the best cards in those sets and it costs now only two hundred dollars right so why pay six hundred dollars or six fifty or you know retail i think maybe i mean it's dropped since that time i don't know let's call it seven hundred dollars giving myself a fifty dollar profit <laughs> seven hundred dollars for a i don't even know if it sells for seven hundred no one even wants it why pay $700 for a Fallen Empires box? Oh, we'll throw Homelands into a set. When we can pay $200 for a box of the best cards in Homelands, uh, The Dark, uh, Chronicles. And, and this isn't even like a great set. These aren't even great sets. These are just like whatever, right? And uh, that's the same question I asked. You know, why pay this much money for Arabian Nights sealed when you know they're going to come up with Arabian Nights remastered? Like, does anyone have any doubt at this moment in time, based on what happened in Magic 30th, 30th, that they are going to not only reprint cards, but they're going to reprint them in a booster box format to maximize the amount of money they can get? No. And therefore, it's not investable. You cannot invest, it, it would be like putting money in Apple stock. But Apple stock kept like, you know, this guy keeps like issuing shares for himself called Steve Jobs. Every year he issues like double the shares and then he's diluting the Apple stock. It's like when you invest in a company and then you face dilution. I don't know how many of you guys are investors. I have obviously own my own business. Um, and you're just like, wow, I, I have 25% of the company, then you have 20%, then you have 15, then you have 10, and then you have five. It's kind of like what happened to FaZe, FaZe Clan on uh, YouTube. They got diluted, those uh, original owners, they got diluted like an mf -er, right? And then the, uh, I mean, oh, I have 20%, now I have 0.002% because it's what happened to Facebook. There's a very famous scene where they diluted only that Edward guy's stock. No one else's stock got diluted and it diluted him down to almost zero. So that's what it is. Um, it's dilution of their stock. It's dilution of their product. It's dilution of their brand. I don't. I don't need to explain this to you. You guys have seen those boxes. I, I buy those boxes on Amazon every time it goes. I just buy the limit. The limit is normally free. I just buy. Boop, 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 done, done. Because like it's a fun open. I enjoy it. Um, but there's no long-term success for Magic. Um, not not the way this is going. It's not okay. So okay. 
depends on how you define success, but in my opinion, there is no long-term investment opportunity in magic. I'll put it that way. If you're gonna reprint everything, you're gonna reprint booster boxes, yes, they're not 36 packs, there's only four of them. Yes, they're coming in a very different box, but you know, that's just product design. They could easily make a box that holds 36 packs because they still do that today. Would it shock me if they reprint a booster box of alpha, beta, 36 packs, you know, booster box, charge $200 for it? No, because that thing magic will sell. They could even charge $2,000 a booster box and that would still be okay. Like understand the secondary market does not exist. So there are card games where the secondary market does not exist. It's like munchkins and so on. If you can just buy the card straight up, right? It's like a board game. If the secondary market is pressured by the person reprinting all the time, even the Sado Tomogoy, $200. It's so like a $10 card now. Marsh Flats, under $10, Flats Lands. I, I was the first to report on this. I was the first to report on this, not Rudy. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> you know, once I saw Flats and Marsh Flats at $10, I was like, oh, <laughs> it's over. It's over, baby. Uh, it's over. And then why buy a booster box of original Zendikar? Why buy it? What, what is it? 1200 800 Who knows? When you can buy, <laughs> what was that? Uh, Modern Horizons 2 have a better chance of hitting a fetch land and all the other good cards in it. <laughs> so like, forget the, <laughs> and they only cost like $200. Why would you pay 10 times or whatever, five times the price to pull less value? I mean, you would have to be insane to do it. You, it, it doesn't logically or even, it doesn't make no sense guys. It makes no sense. Like that's how this thing about Time Spiral Remastered. It was free of the most valuable sets. It was Future Sight, Time Spiral, and something, some other set. Conflux. No, no, hold on. Future Sight is the one with the eye. Time Spiral is the one to shift, and then it shifts that way for the ones that were reprinted. My God, Time Spiral Remastered was a set, a reprint of a set that already had reprints in it. Right, the, the shifted reprint. Oh my God, it's awful. Holy moly, guys. They're reprinting reprints of reprints. <laughs> and boost the box form. And you tell me it's investable. Hey, hey, future sight, future sight, time shift. I'm missing one. Holy moly. I have, I have, oh, planar chaos. Planar chaos. That's the one. Boom. Done. You realize that each of those boxes are thousand dollar boxes before the reprint of Time Sour Remastered. I don't know what they are right now, but I can tell you they're not worth a thousand dollars because I can get this one box for two hundred dollars, and that one box will have more hits than those three boxes combined. So if I pay three thousand dollars for those three boxes, I opened it. I'm going to do that experiment one time. It'll be a damn expensive experiment on the you know old booster side, uh, but on the on the on the new side, yeah, hey, man, it's, it's like two hundred one fifty a box. Let's roll. You know, they were on, the boxes were on Amazon for 180 and then never ever stopped for like years. Like you never went up. Like how can you invest in something where Amazon has the lowest price in it? And it just apparently never runs out of inventory. You can't. You can't. Bye guys.